So hello all and uh, welcome to the third video on uh, programming in CI data structure. So in uh, my last two videos, I have explained about uh, the conditional branching statements, uh, the syntax and working of all the conditional branching statements. And then in the next video, the I have explained the syntax and working of all the looping statement present in C language. So uh, in the first video, we have seen that branching statement is nothing but the statement which transfer a control from one place to another place with or without any condition. So this is called as branching statement. So we have seen that there are two types of branching statement that is conditional branching statement and unconditional branching statement. So we have already seen what is conditional branching statement. So it transfers a control from one place to another place in a program with condition. So there is there are conditions. So depending on that conditions only control will transfer uh, in the program. So uh, we have seen all the types of conditional branching statements in the last videos. Uh, there are four, five types of conditional branching statement in C language. So uh, those are simple if statement, if else statement, nested if statement, cascaded if else, or it is also called as else if ladder. And the last statement is switch statement. So we have seen all the syntax and working of all this conditional branching statement. So let us see the syntax and working of unconditional branching statements available in C language. So as the name itself indicates, unconditional means it does not depends on conditional or conditional uh, conditions will not be there. So uh, here the control will transfer from one place to another place in a program without conditions. So conditions will not be there in unconditional branching statement. So it is also called as jump statements. So unconditional branching statement is also called as jump statements. So you can uh, look over uh, the so, uh, we can uh, look over the syntax and working of all the unconditional branching statement which is present in C language. So uh, let us start the discussion over there. Okay, let me come for uh, unconditional branching statement over here. Okay. So look at this. So unconditional branching statement is also called as jump statement. So here the condition, uh, the control will transfer from one place to another place in a program without any condition. So in C programming language, we have four types of conditional, unconditional branching statement or jump statement. So that are go to, break, continue, and return. So all these are keywords. So hence I have written it in lower case letters. So let us discuss the first conditional, unconditional branching statement that is break. So it is one of the unconditional branching statement or jump statement available in C programming language. And it is used by the programmer to exit from the loop or to come out of the loop. So we have seen uh, three types of uh, looping statement in C language that is while, do while and for looping statements. So this break we are using in all the looping statement to come out of the loop or to exit from the loop. So you can look at this uh, syntax of break. Uh, we can write it in all the looping statements. So hence I have taken while looping statement also, do while looping statement as well as for looping statement. And break we can use it in all the looping statement. So for, first let us see the syntax which is there in a while looping statement. So first an expression or condition will be evaluated. If it is true, then statement will be executed and control will transfer to if condition. So again, condition will be checked here. If the condition is true, break is executed. If the condition is false, then it will go to statements and statements will be executed. So whenever the condition becomes true, the break is executed. And so when break is executed, the control will transfer out of loop or control exit from the loop. So directly it will come to statement X and statement X will be executed. So break here we are using to exit from the loop. So similarly look at the syntax of do while loop. So here I have used break. So same thing. So here uh, the first statement will be executed and control will transfer to if and condition will be checked. If condition is true, break will be executed. If condition is false, again it will go to statements and statement will be executed. So whenever the condition becomes true, so break is executed. So break means it transfer the control out of loop. Okay. So or it exit from the loop and then it will directly come to statement X and statement X will be executed. And this is the syntax for for loop. So again, same thing happens here. When break is executed, the control comes out of loop or it exit from the loop and statement X will be executed. So to terminate the loop or to come out of the loop, we are using the break statement. So you can look over here. Uh, one example I have taken here. 
so while i is equal to 1 uh, 1 is less than or equal to 100 that is true so control will come here if 1 is equal to 5 that is not true so break will not executed it will come to printf and it will print the value of i okay so the value of i printed is 1 so since i have used backslash n over here so control uh, i mean uh, the cursor will move to next line okay next i have done i plus plus so i am incrementing the value of i by 1 so earlier value is 1 now i becomes i plus plus that is 2 so 2 less than or equal to 10 again condition is true again it will come to if and it will check the condition 2 is equal to 5 it is not correct and it will print the value of i that is 2 so like this it will increment the value of i now it is 3 like this it will go so whenever the i value is 5 this condition is true i less than or equal to 100 is true again the control will transfer here so i is equal to 5 now it is true so break is executed so whenever break is executed the control come out of loop so this printf and i plus plus will not be executed so the result will be now 1 2 3 4 5 because at 5 we have executed the break so it will come out of the loop so similarly same example i have written by using for loop so same output will be there okay so uh, you can go through uh, many programs uh, we have seen uh, many programs on break in class okay so next statement is continuous statement so as the name itself indicates continue means it continues with the loop okay uh, so this is one of the uh, uh, unconditional branching statement or jump statement available in c language and this continuous statement is also we can use in all the types of loop that is do while loop do while loop and for loop so in the all this loop we can uh, write this break, uh, sorry continuous statement and this continuous statement tells the compiler that skip the following statement and continue with the next iteration so to, uh, it tells the compiler that we have to skip the following statement and continues with the iteration so let us look at the syntax over here look at this while expression if expression is two statements will be executed and control will transfer to if and it will check the condition if condition is true then continue is executed so whenever we say continue the control will transfer again back to the loop so it continues with the loop hence the name is given as continue okay so when the condition is false continue is not executed so control directly transfer to statement blocks too uh, so uh, after that all of this uh, statement x will be executed so whenever a continue is executed it continues with the loop it will skip this following statement and it will continue with the loop hence uh, this line is given here it's it will skip the following statement and continue with the next iteration so similarly the same statement uh, continue statement i've used in for loop you can also use it in do while loop so any of the looping statement so in any of the looping statement we can use this continue statement so for so again it will check the condition if the condition is true statement will be executed the control will transfer to if and condition will be checked here so if the condition is true continue will be executed look at this when the continue is executed it will again go back to the loop so it continues with the loop so if the uh, condition is false then it will come and execute statement block 2 so whenever continue is executed this statement block 2 and statement x will be skipped okay so this is the working of uh, the continue statement so let us look at the third one uh, so this is one example i have taken over here look at this i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 the condition is true again it will come here if i, I is equal to 3 now the value of i is 1 1 is equal to 3 that is not correct so continue will not be executed it will print the value of i so 1 will be printed next i plus plus so our i value becomes 2 now so 2 less than or equal to 5 again condition is true so it will come here 2 equal to 3 so it is not correct so continue will not be executed so again it will print the value of i now 2 will be uh, printed so next i plus plus the value of i becomes 3 3 less than or equal to 5 condition is true so now you can check this condition 3 equal to 3 it is correct uh, right uh, true then continue will be executed so continue again it will go back to while loop again it continues with the next iteration it will skip this following it uh, uh, statements and continue with the next iteration so again 3 equal 3 is less than or equal to 5 again it is true again it will come for uh, 3 equal to 3 again it is true continue will be executed like this it will execute and it will go up to infinite loop okay so you can look at this example for loop here i have taken i is equal to 1 i less than 5 i plus plus so initial value of i is 1 1 equal to 3 it is correct 
uh, it is not correct continue will not be executed so it will print the value of i next i becomes i plus plus that is 2 2 less than or equal to 5 condition is true again it will come for if and check the condition 2 is equal to 3 that is not correct so continue will not be executed so again we have to print the value of i that is 2 next i becomes 3 here i plus plus so 3 less than or equal to 5 condition is true 3 equal to 3 now the condition is true so continue will be executed so again the control will skip this following statement and it continues with the next iteration so again i plus plus now i value is 4 4 less than or equal to 5 condition is true now check this condition this condition is false 4 is not equal to 3 so continue will not be executed it will print the value of i as 4 so and that at last so it will print it as 5 so next at 6 this condition becomes false so it will come out of the loop so these are the examples of continue so let us go to the next uh, statement that is go to so go to is always associated with label so you have to write a label and this label should be valid identifier so look at the syntax first statements will be executed and label we have written here so next a statement will be executed if the expression is true look at this go to label so it will search for this label where this label is present in the program and control will directly transfer to that label okay so again look at this syntax here i have written go to label so again uh, the compiler searches for this label where it is written so it is wrote, written over here so control will transfer from this position to this position so this jump is called as backward jump and this jump is called as forward jump because control will transfer forward here here control is transferred back so it is called as backward jump so go to is always associated with label and this label should be valid identifier and label should be precedes by colon look at this so label is always end by colon so this is very important over here so go to means it will go to that place only directly so specified by label so that label should be valid identifier okay so this is the working of go to statement and last one is uh, return uh, look at this these all uh, statements are uh, keywords this all return go to break and continue all are keyword look at this this is the return uh, statement so so look at this your program starts with your header file wide main some statements will be there here i have called one function int sub so compiler will look for this function where it is present so this function is present over here so control will transfer from this position to this position so it will come here so it will execute all this statement and last statement i have written it as return so again control will transfer back to the calling function so this is called as called function and it is called as calling function because this function is calling sub function which is present over here so first control will transfer here it will execute all this statement return means again it will return back to the same position okay so hence this int sub is called as calling function and here it is called as called function so control will transfer from calling function to called function again return back to calling function hence the name is given as return that will come again to the same position so this is the return position so this is the syntax of return okay so uh, you can see one so i think uh, there is no example given for the return because we will study this return uh, completely in the subtopic called as functions which is there in module number three so you can look at the syntax so control will transfer here int sub is here if you change the name for example if i write it as capital sub now control compiler cannot find this function because this sub is small sub small letter but here you have written it as capital sub which is not correct so compiler will give error message in such cases so always the name should be name of the function should be same so here it is in sub means here also it should be in sub only okay so these things you you must take care while writing in exam so thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day